Hello and welcome to What's Cooking Good Looking. My name is Napoleon Bonbonaparte and I am a vegan chef with an interest in the middle, 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 middle terranean, Mediterranean, yeah, in the middle terranean cuisine. Today, people, we are making some things as interesting as Turkish beans, or as the Turks would say, kuru fasulvi. Kuru fasulye. Kuru fasulye. Yeah, that's Turkish for you. Let's get started, shall we, now? So you start by finely chopping one onion, two carrots and two celery stalks. But as I'm at my wit's end, I'm going to use the wit's end of the celery stalk. So there's a little bit more here than two stalks. I, it looks that way, but this is just the end of a bunch of celery stalks. So, and the easiest way to finely chop things of this nature is by using a food processor. So you start by put, chopping everything into sort of bite-sized, well, big bite-sized chunks, and then you just pop it in a food processor, or as we like to say, a food professor. Here we go, people. It just takes seconds, and I think this is better than using sort of cutting by hand, well, it's quicker anyway, and it doesn't, as long as you don't do it for long so that it turns into mush. Now, this is going to fry with two tablespoons of olive oil in a great big pan. And when the oil is hot and fragrant, you add the vegetables. How long shall I fry the vegetables, you say? Well, I say till they are sort of limp and the onions has gone translucent, but it's a sort of, I mean, you sort of, you cook all the life out of them, fry all the life out of them. So they go sort of limp. That's the, the, the easiest way, I think, because this is going to be some sort of stew. So it doesn't really matter as long as you sort of, yeah, limp. Yeah, that's the short answer. Till they go limp and translucent and fragrant. No, I added that fragrant. No, no, fragrant is not, translucent and limp. And when they are limp, and translucent, you add three rinsed cans of great white beans. You also add half a deciliter of uh, tomato puree. In with you, I say. A can of crushed tomatoes, half a liter of water. That was not half a liter of water, but this makes it half a litre of water. And I guess what makes it really Turkish is one heaping tablespoon of paprika. And now you let this cook for 30 minutes. By the way, no lid because we want some of the steam to evaporate and make it thicker. So half an hour later, I added two teaspoons of salt because I actually did a taste test. And I also added some black pepper, but now it's time it says to add half the juice of half a lemon. I will be using the zest and the juice of one whole lemon because I like the way it tastes, the freshness of it. So you can do half if you want, or you can do as I do. I will tell you, you know, I'll be having a taste test later and you can see what, what it tastes like. Oh, this looks good. So I'll start with zesting. It's, this is a cheese grater, but it works so fantastic for zesting things. Instead of sort of having to go like that on something, you just use that and it's, um, it's, it's cleaner somehow. There's lemon zest are plenty, and now it's time for the juice. Here we go. Yes. So, time for a taste test. Here we go. Oh, that lemon. Yeah. Maybe some more pepper. Yeah, and a pinch of salt more. But otherwise, no. I like it. And this is served with whole rice. I'm trying to quit rice. No, time to quit rice. I have no problem quitting rice. I have stopped buying rice because I thought it says it's, it's really bad for the environment for Swedes to import rice. So instead, I'm using oats and it tastes just as delicious, or even delicious earlier. Anyway, time for a taste test. Oh, and by the way, yeah, just to 
this is rice. Uh, I'm using up what I've got. Here we go. That is good. It's just the right amount of salt and sort of the sting from the black pepper and the paprika. And I love that I use so much lemon in it because it's there's a freshness and a zing to it. Mm. Yes, this I will do again. Mm, and the sweetness of the potatoes. No, tomatoes. <laughs> bon appétit. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.